In today's Madden 21 breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down a little quick play that you can utilize out of the gun cluster in the Arizona Cardinals uh, offensive uh, playbook. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody, and I just want to thank you for coming by. I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos, and I post four of them on YouTube every single day here. So if you're looking to get better, I would highly encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen for the daily tips and tricks that we provide. Now, one of the tips that we're going to be breaking down today is all about man coverage, but it does also apply to some zone coverages as well. It's primarily applied to two high safeties. But anyway, this play comes to us from the gun cluster. Um, I believe it's the gun cluster halfback... Or no, it's the regular gun cluster, I'm sorry, in the Arizona playbook. Now, for those of you that don't know, we wrote an entire guide on the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. It's over 125 pages. Now, you can get that full scheme, full breakdown in the description of this video. But the gun cluster is one of those formations that is really, really good to kind of mix in. And we're going to show you why here in today's video. So the play is 518 hook. And I love this play. I love what you can do with this play. And a lot of motion that you can do from the cluster is really going to help you uh, with man-to-man -man coverage. For example, if I wanted to go to mesh post, I could motion Godwin to the left. And you'll see that this is very unique. It's going to basically turn this into a compressed formation. So now I can have a corner route on the left. And I could run, you know, for example, I could run just a simple um, flood concept that direction. Now, another thing that I could do is I could take this 518 hook route and I could motion that to the left. Now, if I smart route the route, you see it's going to kind of go at a little bit shorter of an angle. Now, if you're on the right hash, this is going to make a lot of sense because what you can basically do with this route is you can use it as essentially a wiggly faded corner route against man-to-man -man coverage a lot of people are running man-to-man -man. so let me show you what i'm talking about so i'm going to motion him just like this and as soon as he passes that left tackle i'm going to snap see he's going to keep him in motion and if you have a slot matic on your player you're going to see that he's going to light up and typically will beat man-to-man -man coverage one thing you can also do um, is you can take mike evans and put him on a simple hitch route and you'll be surprised at what this does for your offense with these simple hitch routes what i like about them is this route is going to essentially act as a pick, natural pick, natural rubs that we're going to create from this compressed look. You see he's going to settle up a noose. Godwin's going to roast his man on the outside, and he's going to be able to beat man-to-man. -man. Now, where this becomes really nice is when people will start to try to adjust to that. One of the adjustments they might make is they might take their outside guys, and they might put them in purple zones. Now, what you're going to see on this play, and don't worry about the routes on the right. I'll get to those in just a second. But what you'll see on this play right here, when he snaps in motion, you get that nice little animation right there. Once he roasts him, just pass lead it up. And you see it's a one-play touchdown against that coverage. So you're going to be able to basically one-play touchdown them on this specific play. The cool part is you don't even have to motion this guy to the left. If you wanted to keep him inside and compressed, he will still beat man-to-man -to, -man, uh, to the inside. Of course, we get the nice throw out of sack. Thank you, Madden21. But when they're running press coverage, when they're running press coverage, that's when I really like to go to this. Um, a lot of people like to run press coverage this year. I think you're going to see a surge of that. I think people are realizing that press coverage, especially if you have the top of the line corners, can actually work pretty well. But anyway, what you'll see here, he's going to roast the corner to the inside. And we'll typically, I don't know why he slowed down there, but typically um, what that's going to mean when he roasts him to the inside is it's just an inside pass lead. That's all we're looking for. So you don't have to motion him for that specific route to beat man. And what I like is you can, this is a, a route that you can use multiple different ways. So you could leave him compressed just like this, and you see he's going to beat man to the inside. Um, you could also, let's say that they're running the meta coverage, right? So they're going to put the purples out there. And what you could also do with this is you could motion him to the right. And now you've basically got a Z spot type of route on that, on that left side. And if you have like a slot apprentice or something on the left side there, you could put him on a corner. And now what you're going to see is this is going to work more like a Z spot route. And if he beats man, if they don't have a deep safety, that's a one play touchdown over the top. So this route is really, really flexible and really, really moldable to what you want to do. Now, what's really cool about this formation in particular, and this is why we wrote the guide on the Arizona book because of the route combos that you can create from this. The really cool part to me is you have Z spot. Um, and as you can see here, Z spot, this play looks very similar to the other play, right? To the other Z spot. So now what we could do is we could take Godwin and let's say you have 
even if you don't have slot apprentice, even if you don't have it, what I would do is I would smart route Antonio Brown. I would take Chris Godwin right here, um, and I would just motion him to the right, and I would put him on a zig, okay? Motion him out and put him on a zig, okay? We're going to smart route Mike Evans and keep this motion snap little scheme going. What you're going to see is Godwin's going to roast man to the outside. Very easy read. And what's really nice is, again, it's it's a compressed formation. So he is always acting like the slot receiver um, from this formation, especially when you motion him to the left side of the screen. So what you'll see here, again, we'll go to Z spot. Throw that. Throw, now we're going to throw Mike Evans on the same route right which is nice we're going to zig chris godwin and then we've got just a simple high low read on the left or i'm sorry on the right and the same thing here so he's going to roast man and then you'll see mike evans is also going to roast man to the inside now oftentimes they're going to use that route i'm going to just be completely honest with you but if you have routes underneath this that will really really help and let me show you real quick so that was just standard two men under um with a shade coverage outside shade coverage over top now let me show you what you're going to get if they take the purple. So if they take the safeties away, and again, this is going to be mixed in with each other. So they're going to be thinking, oh, he's running, you know, he's running the route to the left. Um, the I think it's 518 hook. But no, what we're actually doing is now Mike Evans is on the route, and now we're going to beat him over the other side. And this is a nice little two-play scheme that, to me, can really work. The cluster is really, really powerful if you know how to use the motion snapping. The motion snapping is what makes cluster so good. For example, another motion snap that is really good from this is let's say you let's say you run 518 hook, right? But this time what you're going to do is you're going to take Antonio Brown and you're going to run him, you're going to basically run your running back on a little shoot flat, um, put Antonio Brown on a um, a slant route, motion him to the to the left right here, snap the ball. And now, I mean, you've got man beaters for days. This this formation, with some of the ways that you can easily beat man to man from slants, zigs, and um, hitches, really, really does a great job. Because now, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to play a lot of chess with your opponent. The motions from this formation, I'm telling you right now, are really, really, really good. They're really, really good. And what you're going to see with this, I can take my tight end, and you see because he's a wide receiver, quote unquote. In the cluster because he's flexed he can now go on zig routes you'll be surprised that tight end doesn't get pressed very much and zig routes are going to torch man but as you can see here that slant motion slant is going to be good oftentimes they're going to be playing a user battle between them with the motion slant and the little s route over the top but what's really cool is you know again again you know just thinking through all of the things so if you were to run z spot now you can put brown on a smart routed uh, a smart routed little post route es essentially and then you could run a hitch route right here so now you got a little hitch post combination coming back across it now you got that and you got these two routes right here and working in unison one's going on a deep crosser and one's going on a deep post so a lot you can do from the cluster what i'm trying to get you to to see is by using motion within this formation it really really is effective you'll see here i could come into mesh post motion goblin to the left uh, and make sure you know i would make sure he gets snapped but you see their little natural man switch he's going to get man beat man to the outside get matched up on a linebacker those are the little things but again the main play i wanted to highlight was 518 hook um as you can see you know for example one of the thing i could do is i could take my left side receiver put him on a slant now what you'll see here this little natural um, this little natural pick, natural rub we're going to create. When you motion Godwin over, this is going to create a natural pick, natural rub. They're going to pick off each other, and Godwin's going to beat man to the outside, and you're going to roast it for a – it's a one-play touchdown against cover two man, as you can see right there. So these routes really do um, a lot. Now, out of Z-Spot, again, there's just multiple things you can do. Out of Z-Spot, you could motion Mike Evans to the left, and now what you've created is you've created – um, you know, simply Z spot with the flood concept to the right side of the field. Very, very simple, but I think very, very effective. As you can see right here, um, that that little whip route to the tight end just torches man-to-man -to -man coverage this year, especially from gun cluster because of where he's placed on the play. So a lot that you can do, and then of course you still have that Z spot power route for this for these pass um, these these powerful post routes. Again, if you're not going to be able to get a motion snapped, just make sure he has 90 deep route running or higher, and he's going to be able to beat man to the inside very, very easily.
So this is just a man killing formation. If someone's running a lot of man on me, uh, I will go to this. You also have this play right here, verticals. What I like about this is this play is going to look very similar to 518 Cook. One of the things that you might experience is you might experience some press coverage. Maybe they drop this guy to the purple zone to try to take away that 518 hook route. If they do something like that, watch what's going to happen right here. Motion him over, and what you'll see is Mike Evans is on this little wiggly fade. Once he gets out the press, just pass lead up. And typically, if that you know he would typically beat that. If that's Marquez Valdez Scantling, um, he's going to typically beat uh, or beat that beat that coverage against that that press uh, animation. But verticals gives you this little stock wiggly fade, which is really nice. Same kind of thing. So I can motion him out. But instead of him being on that, you know, he's going to be on something else. As you see, Chris Godwin's route is going to beat man to the inside because it's a slot route because he's running it from a slot receiver position on the play, which is really, really nice. So um, this formation is just really powerful. I think it's loaded. I think it's got a lot of little capabilities. The key with it is understanding everything you can do from a motion perspective, in my opinion. So, for example, if I were to run, let's say I run mesh post. Let me motion. Let me just tr you know motion mike evans out as you see it's going to turn him into you know basically a stock drag route but look how much see how much it torches man so you have these options in your arsenal okay the key with cluster like i said understanding the motions and leveraging those so for example if i were to run mesh uh, post another motion i could do is i can motion goblin to the right now what you're going to see is i have a post wheel combination on that right side if they're playing uh oh, dang i accidentally accidentally uh double tapped x but if they're playing press man-to-man -man coverage on antonio brown oftentimes this route especially when you um, have this little crossing action right here what you'll see he's going to get to the sideline and he'll actually get over the top of that coverage if they don't have a safety so this really stretches the defense in every single way that it can be stretched and what's really nice about this little verticals route is you can motion this out. This is the only play, uh, only route from verticals. You see with a little motion out, it's going to torch man, as you can see right there. So just a lot of good stuff from the cluster, something to check out. We actually did an entire guide on the Arizona Cardinals playbook, which you can pick up in the description. Over 125 pages breaks down everything about um, the cluster as well as everything about the spread and also we did um, a little mini guide on the cluster for our text message members so if you have not already picked up our text message membership i would highly encourage you to do so all you have to do to get that video is to just text me my number is 812-216-3644 um, just text me let me know you'd like to receive the video and i'll send it to you it's in a playlist that has um, our gun bunch guide it has our big nickel over g defense it has our minnesota vikings uh, guide as well so if you want to pick that up it's completely free um the guide also like i said i just can't stress enough how good the guide has been for people it has truly transformed people's offenses and as and their defenses as well but people have seen significant improvement uh, one of the guys said it's the best 25 dollars that he has spent on the game um in the madden history so it's a really really good product i highly encourage you to pick it up um, it's in the description, uh, and uh, like I said, guys, we'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, and I think our next video will go live at 8 o'clock tonight, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can catch those videos, and join our Discord. That's a great place to be able to connect with each other. Um, other than that, guys, check out some of these videos on your screen, and we'll see you guys in our stream tonight.